Hey guys, so I know in yesterday's video I said my next few videos were going to be pre-recorded videos, but I had to get on here. I have some things that I want to say, I have a big thank you, I have something that I want to get off of my chest, some things that I've been struggling with. This is going to be a real life video. I know a lot of times you get on Instagram and you get on YouTube and it's just highlight reel after highlight reel and that's not real life. This is something I've been struggling with for a long time and I know some of you can probably relate. Life is hard. Life is full of hard, tough moments, um, and sometimes it can be hard to like pull yourself back up and move forward. So I really just want to share with you guys some things. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much for all of your love and support, all your prayers, all your comments, all your messages you sent me from yesterday's video. I appreciate every single one of you, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart with all of my heart. Thank you guys for just being a friend. Like, thank you for being a friend to me. This YouTube community, we have, like, built such a loving family, and I just thank you guys so much for caring for me and caring for Coco. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to even watch that video and listen to me and, like, what's going on in my life because I know that you have so much going on in your life, too. So I appreciate that, and I am very, very grateful for every single one of you guys. So thank you so much. And I know Coco is very appreciative, and she's looking down, and she's thanking every single one of you guys, too. So thank you. So I've been doing YouTube for a long time, a couple years now, consistently. And you guys have always seen, like, the bubbly, happy side of me. And honestly, like, that's just how I am. I'm generally a very, like, bubbly person. Like, I'm not going to have, like, just an upbeat, positive personality. Like, I've always been that way. Um, but the past few years, there's been things that have happened they have been hard and they've knocked me down and they haven't been so positive. They've been negative experiences. They're just sad things. Sad things that are like hard to deal with that just like make, have made me sad. And I'm sure you guys can relate. Like there's probably something or a few things that have happened in your life that have just like knocked you down, that have made you sad, have like put you in a funk, have taken you under, and it's hard to like build yourself back up and get to that place where you once were. I, I was diagnosed with cancer in high school at 16 and I had a really like positive outcome and I just like felt so blessed. Like that made me such a more positive and happy person because of my outcome with that. Uh, next month, actually it'll be 10 years since I've been cancer free. So that is a huge milestone, 10 years you guys. 10 years, that's crazy. So. Uh, but anyways, I'm getting off track. After high school, there was just a few things that had happened that kind of knocked me down in life, that kind of made me sad and hurt my feelings. Like, my whole family moved away 20 hours across the country when I was 17 years old. Thankfully and luckily, my aunt and uncle graciously and happily took me in. I'm so grateful for them. They're like my second parents to this day. I'm so thankful. But that was hard. Like, I was 17. I... I don't know, it was that was that was hard. Then my aunt and uncle ended up moving. I went through a hard breakup. My kitty was diagnosed with cancer. Um, I've had, you know, I just I don't wanna sit here and like list because that doesn't matter. At the end of the day it doesn't matter. Like I've gone through some hard things, like everyone has gone through hard things in your life, but the past few years, like, I feel like there's been a few more things here and there that have really like brought me down and it's been harder for me to bring myself back up. I still of course am like happy and have such a positive outlook on life but for me I feel like it's been harder for me to like bring myself back up and get to like the place that I once was. Like some days I just have like such a sadness over me and I can't really seem to like get out of it. But I am trying I always believed that no matter what happens in your life, change is always constant. You can't control what happens to you in your life, but you can control how you handle what happens in your life. It's all about your mindset and your attitude and what you do. It can either like break you down or it can build you up. And it's fine to break down and cry and process everything that's happening, but don't break down and stay there. You have to break down and then build yourself back up and then keep it moving. Pick up all the pieces and keep it moving. And really let yourself grow from it. So that's kind of where I'm at now. The past few years I feel have really like changed something in me a little bit and I'm just working so hard to get back to that place where I was where I was just like 
genuinely all the time like so happy and positive but right now I just feel like there is just like a cloud of like sadness around me and I know my sweet fur babe who was like a child to me like meant so much to me just passed a, just over a week and a half ago and I'm still processing I'm still grieving I'm still so saddened by that like everywhere I look like I just like I'm reminded by Coco and I see Coco and I just, she's always by my side and so I just miss her so I know that I'm going through something right now and it's gonna take every single day to heal up a little bit and I know eventually like down the road I will be to that place that I once was where I was just always so happy but for now like you go through life things happen and you just have to take it day by day. So I've had this heavy on my heart for a while and I've really felt the need and had it on my heart to share with you guys. Maybe someone out there, maybe it's you watching that can relate to this and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like you're thinking to yourself like you don't even need to explain anymore. Like I completely get it. So if that is you, I hope this can help you. Like you're not alone. I'm here too and I'm going through this and we're going through this together. You guys can always reach out to me. I have my email, I have my Instagram, my Twitter. I reply to every single comment that's down below. So if you're watching this right now, leave me a comment. And after this video, I will meet you guys down there. I reply back to everyone, everyone on all platforms. You guys are like friends to me and like family to me. And I want this to be a place where we can like be there for each other and build one another up because women empower women. I strongly believe that. And I always just want to be a supporting person for any of you out there. <sighs> so that's what's going on. So that is my message. That is everything that I had on my mind and I hope it helps one of you guys out there. At least one person. If I can help one person then that is my goal and that has always been my goal on my channel. It's been on my in my description in all of my videos for like years and years and years. So that is my main goal and priority with this channel. If I can help at least one person, then I've done my job and I've done my duty. I love you guys so much and I care for you. And I thank you so much for caring for me and loving me. And thank you so much for being a friend to me and being there for me in a hard time in my life. And I want to do the same for you guys. I will meet you down in the comment section after this video. All of my socials and my contacts are in the description if you want to send me a DM or an email privately. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in a few days with a brand new video that will, in fact, be a pre-recorded video that I recorded before Coco's passing and everything that happened. So that'll be a pre-recorded video. You guys will definitely like see a difference, but I'm editing that right now. I was up late editing last night, and I'm going to finish it today. I have a voiceover to do and a few more clips to add. So I'm going to work on that as soon as I edit this video and get this up today. I love you guys, and I will see you in a brand new video soon. Love you. Bye.